Let's go again. <clears throat> so, I'm swapping all of my versatility over to mastery, and it is, I think, paying off. So, crit mastery with the enchant chan of leeching fangs. Now, leech for me gives a portion of my damage and healing. Still gotta change them. Some items I upgraded and I, I need to swap. Critical haste is the best two stats for me. Otherwise, it's gonna be haste mastery or crit mastery. I also feel like all the tanks are getting more geared, which is making things a lot easier. Probably got an hour, hour and a half, then I gotta go do the lawns and shit. <laughs> Nelly deals for a friend of the Grumbles, <laughs> like you. Now apparently you can get sort of set bonuses, but I, I don't... Set bonuses. One, three, one, two, three, set bonus. But what was the set bonus coming from? Was that coming from, uh... I have many lucky Transmogrify? Why is it searching through Brave? I don't want Brave to use the Brave search. I wanted to use Google. Uh, or maybe even DuckDuckGo. Search engine. Private window. We wanted to use Google. Not DuckDuckGo. Not. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> this can be tough if people don't understand what they're doing on this one. Of our armada, we have With its of His hands. name is Cream Pies. Wait, who are those intruders? Definitely mastery over versatility, that is for sure. We look here. Mastery just seems to scale a lot better as well. Very interesting. Secure the deck. We need to gain control of the ship. Now with the green. Just much better, I think, with mastery. I turn the brightness down on my camera. It's not even bright in this room. Do we come back here? It's over to the other one, isn't it? Yeah. Where the fuck am I going? Where is everyone? I think they're over on that one. Yeah, I got a bit lost there, guys. It's okay. Oh shit! No. I need a target. Whoops. 
We have learned to embrace the dark. Be not afraid. Let the night <laughs> guide me. Yeah, I lost my bearings there. That's all. Okay, increases that my healing by 15 or a person's healing received. That's it, we are flying very far away this time, because last time it killed me somehow. Going super far away. Liani, hello there. No thank you. Twitch has a massive bot problem, I'll tell you what. Bots for days on Twitch, man. It's just disgusting. Down here, Don't give a shit. The cultists have overrun the city. So you dare to face me? Very well. Shift three, not shift four. Say now how easy that's become. Back to the ship. Oh, dude, this you fucking bots, man. We'll drive the, remainder of the, shadowy the worst ones, at least it's a Discord one. There's ones that come in and they're trying to no, get you to view their artwork and shit, but the artwork's all the same. It's all just stock standard crap. this one do 12 percent of healing so this is a good one for who's our top dps blazing Gone.
Huh. Oh, he got hit quick. He knew where to go. to the Stormbreaker? No. Yeah, yeah, it takes us back. That changes. It's so bright. Properties. Figure video, it, maybe? Sir. Brightness? You've broken the unholy alliance between the Order of Night and That creature of theirs has fled back to their queen. Hmm. Chainmail? Only how many Vela stones was that? Thirty. Okay, that's good. Uh in. I also decided to use a different person's mythic build and it gave me back the blessing of winter which was I definitely think worth it. Gamers Schmiles said. I wonder if for Ret Pally, if you're better off with versatility as opposed to mastery. Punches, punches, lucky goes and roll. May your feet find good strength. Hmm. How high can we go? That's yeah, pretty high. Wow. play a vital role in the upkeep of Dornagal. Water them and help eliminate the pests that burden them. What was that? What pests? It's over there. Storm's Watch. Hey, just TMK. Nothing much, mate. It's Sunday morning here in Australia. So, play some games for a little bit, and then I gotta be an adult and do the lawn and go for a walk or something. Do some meal prep. What about you? It sends a nearby sky riding glyph. I never gave up hope. Let's do an advanced course. Follow the gold rings. No shot. 
No, you fucking prick. I can't believe that. You piece of shit. Clean the barbecue. Yeah, Overwatch. Yeah, I haven't been playing Overwatch lately, man. Ah, definitely enjoying this a little bit more, I think. Wow, what's a queue times? Three minutes? Average wait time, one minute. Let's go hand this quest in Awakening Machine. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, Overwatch. I just... I need a break. I think that's what it is. Whoa, I got a cache. What's this? Oh, shit. What the hell is Kedge? Obtain 300 Kedge. Currency. Oh, God, this one with all the freaking AoE and the tanks just... Oh, okay, we better use a potion. Well, that's good. We've got some stuff. Jesus Christ, so much AoE. Oh shit, I just aggroed him up. Thanks, man. Plat two, that's pretty good. It's fucking tanks, man. Hey, that's good though. So you've gone from gold to plat. That's awesome. Now I've got to teleport back to the instance, don't I? How the fuck do I do that? Shit. Do I click on this? Teleport to dungeon? <laughs> Fucking tanks, man. I feel like so recently when I was playing Overwatch, I was just, it's just so hard because you get games where you're matched with obvious platinum people, which is fine because I'm platinum, but then you're getting these fucking bronze idiots coming into your game who are throwing and they don't know what they're doing. Like I've played games where I'm with a DPS who after entire games on zero, zero kills, less damage than the, the supports. And it's insane. And I think it's just... Uh, I just kind of gave up for a little bit. I just needed a break.
That's a big step from gold to plat too. It's nice. Big difference though in, in players. of damage into healing. Jesse John, let's see if it's another bot. I don't have a target. Hey mate, doing pretty well. How are you? How are you going? Are you playing World of Warcraft, or what are you doing? Are you from Australia? It's to be a bar <laughs> Just an FYI, mate, if you're selling anything, I am not interested. The new expansion is really good. Season of Discovery, th this is how I explain it. Season of Discovery has bled into... Uh, oh shit, what's it called? Retail. It's thinking of commercial then. So there's so much in ways of character, talent. You can... Well, I can't even think. I can't think talk and heal at the same time. My brain's not good enough for that. <laughs> he burps. Fire. That one. That's critical mastery. Okay, I've already got that one. The good thing about uh, even World of Warcraft, but more so uh, Overwatch, is that after work you can just come home and play a few games and then disappear for the night. things hurt. That hurts. The brown always goes on. Pop DPS. So decloser.
went a bit better than expected. Okay, now these ones can really hurt. So I gotta go all out here. No stopping. If you put them in cages, they should be free gathering pollen in the forest. So much AoE damage, man. Best viewers, beyond Huey, you send 10,000 viewers in here, and I'll give a shit about what you're writing, mate. Go on, do it. 10,000. I want 10,000 right now. If you can't do that, get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, did I just pull more? Come on, Beyond Huey. Where are you, man? into chat fucking bots man fucking bots everywhere we just don't give a shit i was watching twitch this is how bad twitch has become yesterday i was watching an overwatch game and it was aspen yeah, she's decent she's much better than i am that's for sure it's literally it's um one of those maps where it's you capture the point first to three captures wins it was uh, they were both at 50 percent on and they both were two of two and then fire bads came on just like done that's that's what twitch has become absolutely disgusting
next pool will be interesting. Good business. Zebra was my personal directive, my passion. I don't keep ruining everything. Quick play. Sorry, one second, man. Shit, did I just fucking aggro another one? I'm not having a good day today. My brain's not functioning properly. Quick play matchmaking. Yeah, I don't really do quick play. I don't see much. I don't see the point in playing if it's not for competitive reasons in Overwatch. And um, the only time I'll play quick play is when I'm trying to get a bit better at a character. Or maybe before a game. Proper ranked game. So who do you usually main on Overwatch? For me, it's usually Moira, Ana. If I'm playing tank, Torbjorn. Sorry, if I'm playing DPS, Torbjorn. Critical mastery. Come back to the taps to use them. Hey! That mean elemental took months of our day! You goody goodies don't know who you're dealing with. You do any more damage, and I'll cash you out, you hear me? My bomb man, my prototype, and my beekeeper. You got those boots? You're riding my bees like some nature loving weirdo. I guess I'm gonna have to show you and your rock headed friend who's boss. Oh.
my employees. But now you're dealing with the B.E.O. herself. You won't be taking this metering from me. <laughs> Those heels. It's insane. It's ridiculous. It's about the only time that my heels are going insane. So these boots, critical mastery, good. It was a grave error listening to Goldie. But because of you, I can hire back my workers and get back in business. Thanks again. Nice bunch of dudes. and don't mumble. Keep them there. Again, I don't know if versatility is something that I want as a rep pally or a tanking pally. Are there any raids yet for the war within? I don't think so. Oh, what's this? Oh. Which one do I want? Severed threads, maybe? The Titans will return. Be ready. Whatever, mate. That's a critical mastery. I've already got critical mastery one. What's my currency at now? 290. Okay. I'm okay with this. So really, Divine Toll is what you use when things are going bad and you need to pop out some burst heals and generate some holy power.
Jesus Christ, this druid's taking a bit of damage. Look at those heels. Holy shit. Look at those heels. That's nuts. Now I'm wondering if I should be using uh, Light of Dawn more than I'm using Turn of Flame. Oh, we're up to the boss. I'm going to stand back a little bit further so that if I get AoE'd, I can actually see it. Wow, that was really, really quick. I want to give this to Earth Bjorn. In this one. I was very quick. I only played Pally. Yeah, I've always played Pally ever since vanilla. I'm 37, so I actually was playing World of Warcraft on launch. Thank you. But I come and go. But I've always played Pally. I've got other characters, but I never... Because I don't have enough time to gear up more than one character. Even if I wanted to. I just feel like... Pally is you can do everything with a pally, tank, kill, DPS. I also like that support role. What character are you playing? I started right before BC, sorry, you've already answered that. Right before BC, yeah. So you must be old as well. Versatility, mastery, no, we don't want versatility. Come back with some better stories. If you find anything exotic, bring it. Where am I? I need to go over there. Ah, 35. Cool, cool. I'm 37. Very similar. But where about are you from? Are you from Australia? I have many lucky things. Our forged paths intertwine. So all this crap. My thanks for your patronage. Miami. Here you go. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually really enjoy leveling up alts at the moment. Just because the whole process is quite streamlined. It's not cumbersome. So here we are. I think I think I the devs have done a really good job. Was it just Eirik now? 
He swept from the Hall of Awakening into the Stone Vault. He's probably running like a frightened mouse. Ooh, he's sleek, cowering. No, who's the main DPS? Who's doing the most damage? Okay, sleazy. You're French, but live in Miami. That's strange. What are you doing in Miami? I'm just going to turn the sound down a little bit on OBS. Yeah, it's very, very old friendly. Which is good. I played Black Desert Online. I play slash played Black Desert Online. I'm taking a break from it, but that, it was just too much in that game. Too much grind. You feel like you're getting nowhere. And it wasn't, it's not like a good grind. Going crazy mostly. Why crazy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, any of those democratic states are, for, are a bit crazy, man. California, New York, Miami. Well, woke mind virus just plagues those states, doesn't it? Looks like the main door is locked. Either one of these paths should lead us to an access console. Florida is wrecked. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what wrecked means. I think that's some sort of Zuma language. Oh, Republican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you're, you're in Miami. Yeah, definitely. Devout Republican state. Oh, that'll sell for four or five hundred, hopefully. Yeah, if I was American, I would definitely be living in a Republican state. But each to their own. Everyone's allowed their own opinion and you know, their own belief system, whatever that might be. The problem with Australia is that whatever happens in America eventually comes here because all of our politicians are puppets and America obviously dominates the Western world. So whatever happens in America eventually inflicts itself upon Australia, uh, particularly since we have uh, Labor, which is a left-leaning government in charge who are destroying this country at the moment. Similar to Trudeau in in Canada and uh, God, what's that piece of shit's name in England now? Jailing people for Facebook comments. What a what a country that's become. So yeah, everything bleeds into us to the Western world from America. Yeah, man, we've got America fighting a proxy war in Ukraine, sending hundreds of thousands of young men to their deaths. Uh, you've got Israel and America committing ge genocide over in Palestine. It's just the world's a mess, man. The world is a mess. Uh, and it doesn't matter what you think about Islam or, or any of those religions. Genocide is genocide. Very sad. Hmm. 
really crazy the 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 media and the politics in australia you know originally they were all for netanyahu and and the genocide and then after gaza was completely destroyed the media and our government over here started saying oh we are not supporting this anymore it was, it was obviously very orchestrated um, the sheep don't particularly understand what's going on the media over here are always saying anti-trump stuff pro kamala stuff even though that woman is absolutely insane her laugh Ugh, oh, the world's gone mad. The media is so corrupt. But, what are you going to do, right? That's why we play games. And that's why when they put political crap into games, they fail. Like Concord. Uh, we're going to see it happen in the next Assassin's Creed. Aren't we? All that DEI shit. I think I just gotta focus on this for a second so we don't die. Reality. Yeah, it's uh it's an interesting point. The Democrats in America are probably leaning more towards socialist, which many would argue is the pathway to communism. Uh, certainly in Australia, we, we're seeing the rise of socialism, which is really bad. You've got wealth redistribution going on. But they're actually not taking from the rich. They're taking from the middle class and giving it to the poor. Uh, I, I firmly believe that ultimately the... Beyond saving. That seems like poetic what the government is trying to do Let's finish in here in England and probably in America as well, they are trying to destroy the middle class. So you're going to have the lower class who are living off welfare. And then you are going to have a ruling elite class... And you've got the political class, so it just seems that everything going on right now is aimed at destroying the middle class. Yeah, yeah France, man. Uh, wow, what a country that was. Macron, what a piece of shit he was. He was, he was insane. And what was really funny is when all of those protests were going on in France, they were not on the news here because they were obviously anti-government protests. Who's that woman? Who's that French woman, the right-wing woman? Something Le Pen? Le Pen? I can't remember. The French know how to protest. I got to give it to them. They are, they are a, people who will actually stand up for themselves, which is really good. It's the daughter. Yeah, I mean, they label everyone as far right so you've got left and far right it's it's really strange the the wording that they use nowadays there's no such thing as right wing you're either left wing or far right it's crazy i speak as a christian okay that's giving me mastery but now nah, intellect's way better it's like all these people who are protesting in in england right now who just who are just sick of the insane numbers of immigration that's going on. And the media calls them all far right. They're not. They're just everyday normal men and women who have had a gutful. Who can no longer walk the streets safely. Uh, 
uh, all of their their money is going to benefits for these uh, immigrants. And they've just had enough, and then they're labelled far right. It's very powerful what you can do with with words. <laughs> Protest is our national sport, yeah. <laughs> and I wish they would do that in Australia. I wish people would stand up for their rights in Australia. Uh, right now in this country, you've got a useless government. You've got energy companies who are making record profits. You've got these companies, Coles and Woolworths, who are who make up like 70, 80 percent of the of the of the supermarkets they are making record profits the price gouging is insane and that the politicians just sit there doing nothing about it us people are struggling to even buy food right now you wouldn't have, have that happen in russia i know there's this awesome video and it's putin and there's these businessmen and they're doing something dodgy he brings them in and he sits them down and he makes them sign a piece of paper whatever that contract was and they signed it and they looked like they were, they just seen death. That's how you run a country, man. Capitalism is great, but I, I think the, the pendulum has swung too far one way. And, uh, yeah, something needs to change. Something needs to change before everything becomes socialist. Lobby, yes, lobbyism, isn't that right, man? Lobbyism is insane. Particularly in America, though, but I'm sure it's the same around the world and in Australia, but it's less, I wouldn't say less prevalent, but I would say that it's more more hidden but lobbyists control everything particularly in america like the pharmaceutical companies and i don't know i imagine blackrock and all these other companies i, I don't particularly know who's pulling what strings i just know that it's happening yeah lobbyism that's a really good point The world is an absolute mess though and everything that's going on right now is obviously part of a bigger plan i think the next thing that they're doing what they're doing right now is obviously the climate change con where the media and government are just pushing all of this end of the world rhetoric uh we need to change we need to stop carbon emissions, blah, blah, blah. It's all about control. Hey, hey, mate. How you going? Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I am. I am. It's Sunday morning here in Australia, so I figured why not? I'm going to be recording anyway. I might as well click the button right next to it. And yeah, it's cool. Get to hang out with some awesome people. Oh my god, did I just aggro these mobs? No. Uh, but I feel like you want to make the rich pay, but they should be paying Citra, but you're more Republican. How come? Hmm. It, it's a very interesting conversation, yeah. Hmm, let me think about that. I don't... I used to believe in trickle-down econ economics, but I no longer believe in trickle-down economics. I'm not sure that I feel it's right to be taxing anyone 40 to 50% of their income. I believe that the lower and middle class are taxed too highly, and that... The upper class in Australia who are paying maybe 40 to 50% of their income in tax are probably taxed correctly. When I say 
the rich. I think if you're earning over maybe 10, 20 million in, uh, USD, which is probably 30, 40, 45 Australian million. I can't really do maths at the moment because I'm trying to focus on these. Uh, I just believe that CEOs in particular are getting too much money. I, I think the disparity between the disparity of income between rich and poor is just too big and it's growing. It's very hard for me to articulate whilst I'm playing this. Yeah, no, that's a that's a fair point. That's a very fair point. Um, I don't like the rhetoric from the Republicans about if you pay people more then the cost of everything's going to go up it's just not true what should be happening is ceos senior management should be taking less and the worker bees should be getting a bit more america is absolutely insane how you can have somebody earning five six dollars an hour when the ceos are earning millions a day it just the system is broken and i don't know how to fix it and it's beyond me. It's a fair, it's a really fair point though. Oh, what's this guy trying to trade with me? I don't know why. What are you doing here? Who sent me? Oh, what's this guy saying? Oh. What's it what braces were they? Did I pick up braces? Where is he? Who's after the braces? Sarabi. Trade. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. these braces yeah yeah that's a, that's a fair point man I mean I, I I would consider yeah I, I like that idea they should certainly be paying tax on their stocks if that's how they're earning a significant oh fuck me if that's how they are getting a significant amount of their income hmm so I guess so how do you how does that work so you get paid in stocks and then how do you sell those stocks without I've watched a video on this, but I can't remember how they do it. How do they sell their stocks and not have to pay tax? Need some water. Ah, oh, whoops. Uh, it would be very hard. I don't know if you watch the Republican Democratic debate between Biden and, and Trump. Biden, he's obviously not cognitively functional. He's not there. He hasn't been there for years, but the media has hidden it. But it was on display that that day. So the question is, who's really pulling the strings for the Democrats? Some sort of faceless men. 
they take loan to the bank with a warranty on their stocks. So they take a loan to the bank and they... Okay. I'd have to... Do that a little bit more. Try to understand it better. Oh. 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 oh shit, almost walked into it. I think I need coffee. <laughs> so what do you do for work? Just TMK? What's over here? Okay. Uh, sell for 50. What? Oh, you're managing some work. Oh, that's cool. Tough work managing people. You manage food places, so I imagine that you also manage the personnel there to some extent. I work in uh, procurement and logistics, so purchasing, forecasting, I also do a lot of that data analysis, which is really cool. I feel like I've done absolutely nothing this round. Uh, yeah, somewhat of a data analyst, yeah. I mean, I, I don't... I'm not a data analyst in that I'm not using... Uh, what is it? I'm not writing SQL code and that sort of stuff. But what I do do is we've got our database. And I take the raw data from NetSuite. And I use it in pivot tables. I create dashboards for senior management, those sorts of things. Obviously, it'd be better off if you could do SQL and write, maybe if you were using Power BI or something like that, and generating reports that way. But, oh, yeah. Very cool. Uh, I have used a Google Analytics before, and I've, again, download the raw data and create dashboards with it for the marketing team where I used to work so I'm very good with Excel and just manipulating data to for, for use yeah Google Analytics is great But I'm sure I only know a fraction of what I can possibly do. Uh, is that an online course or is that where... I don't know what you guys call them over there. We call them TAFEs here. TAFE University. Everything could just be done online now, I suppose. Definitely enjoying this a little bit more with mastery. Uh, yeah, bunch of okay, Corsetta. I, I believe I've heard of that site before. Interesting. 
how do you f keep yourself motivated to study? That's something I, I've really lacked. I just, I was never great at school. I always found it hard to concentrate. <sighs> I'm giving credits, yeah. something I need to do. Build up my resume a little bit more in that respect. Uh, I find it really interesting, so... When you're looking for a job, a lot of places say... Uh, so I'm 37 now, and in procurement and logistics, I've got 17 years of experience. Good experience too, from from a few different places. And it's just the whole idea that somehow going to university for three, four years is going to make you a better candidate for a job than someone who's got significant real-world experience. It's just insane. I, I do think that the whole universities once upon a time served a purpose and they do obviously for certain professions but I do think it's a bit of a scam now kids going to university racking up these insane debts even in Australia that they can will never really be able to pay off <laughs> uh oh, I should pay more attention. Yeah, so I, I really like the idea of online courses and learning things like that, but I, I don't think in today's day and age, universities should be held as in as high regard as it is. Yeah, that's just my opinion, but... I am possibly biased because I don't have a degree. I did go to uni for several years, but then I was offered a job uh, in procurement and I took it and then I dropped out because I never went back. Engineering France, yeah. See, so, so in Australia, Uni used to be relatively affordable and cheap. In fact, at one point in time, it was free. This was probably 1980s, pre-1980s, who knows. But now, it's just a business, and it puts these kids in insane amounts of debt. So I think what makes it... Yeah, in my mind, what makes it less uh, important is that you can do all of these courses online for a fraction of the cost... Or you can just go out there and get real world experience and have no debt. If I could go back in time to when I was 18, I would have gone into a trade. I would have gone into electrical, probably not plumbing, maybe something else. I don't know what else, but probably electrical, maybe networking, something like that. I never would have gone to uni. Because in Australia, and I think even in America, you get paid really well as a tradesman. Maybe air conditioning. Air conditioning would be another good one. Alright, maybe one or two more. Just to keep farming these bits. But yeah, it's, it's a shame that universities have just become nothing more than a business. I will do my duty. Uh, and they continue to, yeah. Ah, uh, haste mastery. That's only level two. Just, I can probably get that up to a purple. I want to get them all up to purple first. Engineer. That's really cool, though. Engineer. Five hundred and eighty. Okay. I went to uni and studied a Bachelor of IT 
but yeah, I never, I never finished. I, I never should have gone there anyway. I think I more did it because my dad sort of wanted me to go there, and it's good that to have a, a parent that motivates you. But I think if you understood your your kid a bit better, maybe and knew he wasn't necessarily academically inclined or he wasn't excited uh, might have gone maybe down the TAFER track and did a uh, diploma which is a little bit easier or just gone into a trade Some kids are made for university. Others like me just just aren't. And that's okay. And that brings up a whole other debate about the schooling system as a whole and grooming people and children to become good little worker bees and shit, but I won't bore you with that. Let me just say that I don't think people Particularly boys are meant to sit still in a class for eight hours a day. Yeah, it is very hard, isn't it? It's very hard. You used to just follow your parents. Whatever they did, you sort of did. You didn't find your own path. Something was handed to you. Oh, you'll go down this line for the rest of your life. But not like that anymore. I was very, very lucky. There was a woman at work. I was working in an outlet, a store outlet. And a woman was going on maternity leave. And they're just like, hey, Chris, do you want to do this job? You'll be managing our, uh, our purchasing and forecasting and liaising with our vendors. And I was only 20 years old, 20 years old doing that job. And I failed at it so hard because the people were absolute pricks. This guy named Charles and this guy, guy named Derek if you two are watching this, you guys are pieces of shit. You treated me like crap. Charles, Charles, Johnson Tigers, Charles. Probably shouldn't have said that aloud, but fuck it. Scumbag. Yeah, man. Some people just don't know how to treat other people. And they, I had no idea what I was doing, really. But it all worked out for the best. All worked out for the best because now I'm in a decent job. I, I worked at another place and had a great mentor who really helped me. Yeah, and that's what I, I do now is that I work with particularly younger people. I just try to help them out as best I can. I'm not telling them what to do. There was one guy who I was working with and I, I just sort of gave him my opinion on how I would deal with certain situations that have, that that he was experiencing. Because I never had that. Well, I did, I did from about 26 onwards. Gotcha, gotcha. That's cool. Yeah, sometimes you get really lucky. I do think that being highly extroverted makes it much easier for you to progress in certain workplaces, in most workplaces where you can actually talk to people and build those necessary relationships and sell yourself or almost. Would you consider yourself extroverted or more introverted? If you had to choose one, everyone says that they're a bit of both. I get that. Introvert, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess you can be introverted and still be able to communicate well with people. 
I think that the people who are introverted and struggle with socializing, they're going to have a very hard time moving up the corporate ladder or... Uh, I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm just saying that I think it's probably much more difficult for them. So what's it like living in Miami? I've never been to Miami. I went to California once. I got to go to BlizzCon. I think it was 2019. Have you ever been to BlizzCon? Did you get to go? Not that I would go these days. Pink goes to a damage dealer. Purpley pink. Anyone need ace versatility? No, thank you. Slash. No, thank you. Picture the, picture the feeling of heat when you open it. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that feeling. Crazy. Okay. I had no idea. I think the funnest thing I did when I was in California was I went to the gun range and that was sick. Shot sniper rifles shot uh, Magnum AR-15s or an AR-15 I should say very very cool but the thing it was very interesting because obviously they give you a gun right and I'm sure it happens a lot but if you weren't feeling too happy with yourself at that point in time you could pretty easily unalive yourself <laughs> and it's quite a daunting thing to think about because i've seen videos of online of that happening but i live in melbourne australia so come summertime we get a lot of Seasons. So we really get winter, we really get spring, autumn, and summer. Although the, the last few years, summer has been really bad. But I love summer when you get those 40 degree days, 40 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit 90, 100. Yeah, I love dry heat. We need to get candles. Get the bloody candles. Uh oh. Oh, humid heat. Oh, I hate humidity, mate. Is it really bad humid heat? Like, I've been to Singapore before and that was horrific. Nobody's getting candles but me.
<laughs> I don't do humidity, man. Although, Australia, a lot of Aussies go to Bali, which you might have heard about. So, it can be quite humid in Bali at certain times of the year. Oh yeah, Sydney. Nice. Yeah, so I'm in the states south of Sydney. Victoria. I've been to Sydney a few times. Did you go to Darling Harbour and see the Sydney Opera House and whatnot? Queensland's nice. I, I prefer Queensland. Nicer beaches, warmer weather bit more laid back East Yeah I would love to move to Queensland Candles. Did I not pick up a candle? Oh, you went to Uluru. Well, you see, at Uluru, you, you can't go up the thing anymore, can you? You can't walk up it. So. I, I don't know if, it was, uh, if it's like a scam now, but probably. The Aboriginals here just want to claim everything for themselves, or at least a small fraction of them do. Your abilities, so you can't walk up the fucking rock anymore. Let me change the brightness on this. It's a bit low now. Your video. It was at 123. I can set that to auto. Nope. Okay. What did I get from that run? I got a few greens. Blue mountains? Yeah, I was. Oh, <laughs> it was 800 the night. Wow. Wow, that's crazy, dude. I'm sorry about that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm I'm from Australia and I've never even been to Uluru. I've got no interest in going there now. The uh yeah. I and mean, they want to claim it for themselves, they can have it. I'm not interested. When I say they, I mean the Aboriginal Australians. So, what can I upgrade? Critical Mastery. I might upgrade these. Nah, it was just a little wrong. <laughs> I'm sure there's better places to see in America. Like, I, I bet the Grand Canyon would be absolutely phenomenal. I would love to go to Las Vegas and do cocaine there. That would be great. Uh,
Where else? Where else would be? I, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, the mystery of the rocks. They are. <laughs> These crazy rocks just spawned out of nowhere. But uh, my partner and I are off to oh, Vanuatu in November. So that'll be really cool. Oh, I want to go do snorkeling and see everything over there. There's many better places than Australia to visit, man. This place is just overpriced. Huh. The roads are a mess. It's really not that interesting a country, I don't think. Message. Vanuatu. Vanuatu, so it's off the coast of Queensland. I think it's only about an hour east of Queensland. Uh, and it looks beautiful. Very tropical island. Uh, well, it's part of... I don't know if it falls under the Polynesian Islands. So it was settled by the French at one point in time. Whoa, uh, ouch. So, yeah, it looks beautiful. Gonna do all the touristy stuff there. Just lay back and chill and see the waterfalls, do all that sort of stuff that I've yet to properly do in my life. Have you ever been to Japan? Japan's beautiful. charged feather oh. an education okay okay yeah I love Japan just I wouldn't want to work there that's for sure but, <laughs> uh, but yeah what a beautiful country so much culture they've maintained their culture which is uh, i think something really to be commended they haven't allowed the world to influence it they haven't seen insane mass migration they've just sort of kept to themselves but adapted with the times Freaking hell, I was nowhere near that. Oh, yeah, man, that's so true. I do not support the killing of whales. Well, you might have heard of the Sea Shepherd, Australia's ship uh, that goes after the whale. Mind you, I haven't heard anything about it in a long time. Yeah, it's disgusting. Whales are such beautiful creatures. Oh, what's that? Staff. That's a nice staff. Oh, look at that. 
Hops ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need more people out there doing what they're doing. Saving the whales and protecting them. But I, I guess you could argue the Canadians club seals and shit like that. Uh, what else happens? I bet all around the world sort of disgraceful things are happening. Get some food in a minute. I'm so hungry. I like how this tank is taking little chunks at a time. Once the pack's almost gone, he's moving on to the next pack. Yes, actually, good point. I do remember that, which is disgusting, right? They sort of herd them into an area and then slaughter them. It's disgusting. All in the name of tradition, right? If I was Danish and I knew anyone who celebrated that massacre, I, I would not be friends with them. They're entitled. They, they can believe. They can celebrate it if they want, but I, I don't have to encourage or participate in their celebration. Uh, or even be associated with someone who, who, who does that. I mean, is that close-minded? I don't think so. It's sort of like duck hunting, right? I, ducks are beautiful animals. Uh, they're, they're always wobbling around in families and stuff like that. And you can get a hunting license to go and kill these beautiful birds. Why? I wouldn't want to associate with the person who did that, who found excitement in killing such a beautiful little creature and i'm not a vegetarian I, I do distinguish the difference between an animal being raised for consumption and one that's not but yeah just to go out and kill an animal for sport that's not I think as a society we've progressed a little bit beyond that. <laughs> the Danish did the Danish just do that? I'll have to I'll have to have a read online. Why on earth would you do that? Stein. Yeah, I wonder what you actually summon there. You have a chance to su summon an Earth and ally. Well, what? As we go down, is it worth it? There are more survivors to rescue. What? 
The lift is out. If we want to keep going, we will have to go down the Storm Rider way. We have to take it down. We have to take it down. Whoever did that voice acting needs to go back to school. And thank you so much for dropping by and talking. I really appreciate it. You've made my morning much better. Wish you all the best and maybe I'll talk to you in the future. Have a good day. Ring button. So this one I want to give to a big DPS, so we're going to give it to Helagoth. Oh, wow. Thanks. Thanks for the heads up. I might go sell my stuff. Grab some food. And then I better go do the front lawns. I have an extended supply of goods for outlanders. So, your abilities have a chance to call the darkness, increasing your intellect by... Wow, my god, up to 4,000. Oh, that might be good. What's this one do? Okay, what's this? Okay, you're healing for the... Ah. Now, that's haste versatility, so we can get rid of that one. Haste versatility, we can get rid of that one too. I have many lucky do's, you like? 
got one of them up there anyway. Get rid of that. Starlet, are you there? I gotta go, my friend. Farewell, friend of the Brummels. <laughs> I have many, many wares. Right. I'm gonna go get some food and be an adult for a little while and maybe play some Overwatch. So, thanks for stopping by, guys.